Good afternoon, everyone. It is Wednesday, November the 18th, 2020. It is currently 3 p.m. Central Time. I'm coming to you live from Victory Baptist Church, located here in Ovalo, Texas. And well, the saga concludes. Our saga with the Christian Podcast app has finally reached its conclusion. The the whole saga finally ends today. And I know you've been waiting for a conclusion because I've received a number of emails from people asking, hey, what's going on with the Christian Podcast app? What's happening? Can you give us an update? Well, I can. not only can I give you an update, we can bring this long saga to its final conclusion. This is the final chapter. The story ends. It is over. And then we can all move on to more important things. Now, you may be happy with the conclusion. You may be disappointed with the conclusion. Um, that's that's the way it works. Whenever you uh, read a story, when you get to the end of the story, sometimes you love the ending. Sometimes you're disappointed by the ending. But either way, all stories, all journeys, they have to finally come to an end. And today, our story, our journey, our saga with the Christian podcast app finally Ends. Now, let me just kind of remind you of where we have been, and then I'll tell you where we are, and then I can explain how it all comes to an end today. All right, are you ready? Let's let's wrap this up once and for all, because there are far more important things to talk about, but I, I just, it's, it's easier doing it this way than trying to respond to all the individual emails, right? It's just easier just to turn on the microphone and talk to everyone. So, are you ready? Here is the dramatic conclusion of the Christian podcast app known as Edify, this is the conclusion of that dramatic saga, that dramatic story that you've been waiting to hear. Here we go. Let's first go backwards. It all started. I don't even remember how many months ago. Maybe it was the beginning of 20 or the end of 2019, the beginning of 2020. But at some point in time, I came across an advertisement about the, the, the Christian Edify, the Edify Christian podcast app. And I looked at it, and I'm like, oh, this looks interesting. Okay, here's a, a podcast app just for Christian podcasts. Well, hey, I do the Theology Central podcast. I do the VBC podcast, which is our sermons. I do the VBC Bible Institute, which is, well, teaching the Bible. I do the non-Catholic Catholic podcast, which is, all, you know, everything related to Catholicism. Okay, uh, we, we, we're obviously Christian, our church, Baptist church, London Baptist Confession of Faith of 1689, the Apostles' Creed, Nicene Creed, Athanasius' Creed, right there, historical, biblical Christianity. We, we have a certain theological stream that we fall into, typically would more in line with Reformed theology. So, okay, we would fit in. I don't, I don't see what the problem would be. Okay, um, I'm looking into this. So I started immediately trying to contact every way that I could. Hey, we're interested in getting our, our, our podcast on, your, um, on the Edify Christian Podcast app. Please let us know what we need to do. Send another message. Hey, we're interested in getting our podcast on the Edify Christian Podcast app. Please let us know what we need to do. Send another message. Send another message. I couldn't even get an automated reply saying, hey, your message has been received. Someone will respond to you in, you know, 48 hours, 72 hours, three months, something. I I didn't receive anything. Kept trying, kept trying, nothing. I even wrote a review for the Edify Christian Podcast app on the Apple App Store saying, hey, this is a great idea but we would like to know how do we get our podcast on your app? Could you please contact me, please? And I, nothing. So I tried and I tried and I I really was getting to the point of just, uh, just kind of giving up. Uh, I I was like, this is just bizarre. I've I've reached out to all kinds of companies dealing with podcasts and I've always received very prompt replies, very professional telling me, hey, no, you know, this is what you need to do. This is the requirements. You know, I've worked with, all kinds of different, you know, podcast platforms, always, always quick response, always been treated fairly, always been treated respectfully, even though, you know, we would be considered, you know, small, you know, no big deal in the podcasting world compared to some. Now we've had some pretty, you know, uh, my secular podcast, you know, made it number two trending podcast in the United States of America. We were beat out by Michelle Obama. So I've had success. So, but I'm, I'm like, you know, in the in the theological world, we're you know we're not as successful as many, but you know, we're we're on a number of podcasting charts at different times for different countries. Uh, we've 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 done you know re- 
we've done pretty good for ourselves. At one point, you know, we were bringing in over 30,000 uh, uh, listeners a month on Sermon Audio. So we, we, you know, we've been around, we've done a lot. So, you know, may, maybe I don't deserve, you know, maybe I'm not going to get the kind of reply if, you know, it's, if it's a Rick Warren or a Joel Olstein. but, you know, come on. I mean, maybe something, but okay, finally, finally, I, you know, I decided I'll try it one more time. And I sent a message and I got a reply. I got a reply and they were like, you know, basically give us your, you know, the names of your podcast, RSS feeds, all of that kind of information. And then we started the back and forth, you know, they, they need this. I send them this, they need this. And it was just, it was just like dragging on. And at no point in the process, did they ever say, okay, here are, here are the, here's the criteria you have to meet. Here's the statement of faith you have to sign. Here's what we Here's what we expect of you. Here's what we won't allow. And give me some kind of like idea. Do we even, do we even fit in? Like, are, you know, is this something we even want to be a part of? Never received any requirements, nothing, none of the rules, nothing, not a thing. And if you go to the, uh, you know, like to the app store for Apple or Google and you look up the Edify Christian podcast app, you're, you're going to see that they, that you can get two uh, two million plus Christian podcasts in one single app. That's kind of their whole marketing, you know, their marketing idea. That's the thing they want you to, you know, to get out there. Hey, get the Edify Christian Podcast app. You can get two million Christian podcasts in one single app. And when you start looking on that app, you will realize quickly all kinds of things are available. Everything from the Catholic feminist to people throwing out some of the craziest conspiracy theories that you can imagine. You've got people who deny the doctrine of the Trinity. You've got all kinds of theological flavors, theological streams. So clearly there can't be like a statement of faith that's required. You have everything on there. So you would think, hey, we, we should be able to fit in, right? You, we should be able to fit in. I mean, I would think so. L- let me just give you an example. If you open up the Edify Christian Podcast app right now and you do a search for Kenneth Copeland, yeah, that's a name. Yeah, that's a name that's been talked about for years. There have been warnings after warnings, warning Christians of Kenneth Copeland. Hey, this guy's dangerous. This guy's a heretic. Be warned. There have been documentaries about him. I mean, I, I, I remember hearing warnings about Kenneth Copeland way back when I was a young Christian. Well, we, we talked about him in Bible college and seminary, Kenneth Copeland. But if you open up the Edify Christian podcast app and do a search for Kenneth Copeland, look what you'll find. Let me just read it to you. You will find this, the Edify Christian podcast app. Let me open up the app. Here it is. If you do a search for Kenneth Copeland, you will find Believer's Voice of Victory audio podcast. Over the years, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland have delivered Bible-based teachings about faith, love, healing, prosperity, redemption, righteousness, the anointing, and the principle, principles of victorious Christian living. So, so please hear that. Hey, you, you can listen to Kenneth Copeland on the Edify Christian Podcast app. That's available to you. Now, I would, I would raise the question, if there is a review process, what, what, how did he get through the review process? Like, what, like what's going on? Let me, let me just give you a sample, a little bit about Kenneth Copeland. Let me just remind you, if you're not aware, let me just remind you of a little bit about, well, let's just listen to Kenneth Copeland doing, I, I guess, what we call ministry, preaching, teaching, his Bible-based teaching. Let's just listen to uh, some examples. Here we go. Let's listen to the first one. See if you remember this one. This was all over the internet, all over the news. Here we go. Burn. Burn, burn, burn. Oh, I'm telling you, it gets hot down there. I, I mean, je- like Jesse says, it's Africa hot down there, man. And it gets... <laughs> Are you listening to me? Because it's, it's right there on the coast. It gets muggy. And that's what it takes to kill this thing. Uh, it hates heat. It hates humidity. It hates water. <laughs> it just dies. 
I hollered at the top of my voice, in the name of Jesus, you get back up there where you belong. Boy, up it went. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I messed us up. Man. There's Kenneth Copeland blowing away COVID-19. Now, obviously, it didn't work very well. Obviously, he, he did something wrong. He blew in the wrong direction, but COVID-19. That, now, that guy, that guy can be on the Edify Christian Podcast app. That, that guy can. Now, remember, there's obviously some review process because they kept asking us questions. We never really knew exactly what the rules were. We didn't really know what the criteria was. They didn't really ask us any theological questions. Didn't ask us any doctrinal questions. Ask us questions about, uh, tell us about the church, which is kind of weird because there's podcasts on the Edify Christian Podcast app that are clearly not associated with a church, but that, that's, I guess that's okay. So, so we were left in the dark. Like what, what really is the answer here? Can someone tell me what's going on? But, but wait, wait, let's wait. Let's, let's listen to, uh, uh, Kenneth Copeland. Remember, uh, on the Edify Christian, uh, on the Edify Christian Podcast app, you can listen to Kenneth Copeland deliver Bible-based Teachings, yeah, Bible-based teachings. Let's listen to uh, let's listen to Kenneth Copeland offer some of his great Bible-based teachings here. Let me uh, let's go to uh, let's go to this one. Let's go to this one. I've got a number. I, I could I could play clips of him all day. Give me a second here. Let's open this up in my uh, studio software. Let, let's listen uh, to him. He's going to execute judgment on COVID nineteen. Listen to this uh, classic from Kenneth Copeland. We'll exercise judgment right now. Because we in have... In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Standing in the office of the prophet of God, I execute judgment on you, COVID-19. Oh, Ramash. I execute judgment on you, oh. Satan, you destroyer, you killer, you get out, you break your power. You get off this nation. I demand judgment on you. I demand, I demand, I demand a vaccination to come immediately. Yes. I call you done. I call you done, gone. You come down. From your Amen. place of authority, destroyer, you come down and you crawl on your oh, belly gosh. like God commanded you when he put his foot on your head in the Garden of Eden. You will destroy through COVID-19. No more. No more. No more. It. No more. Is. Finished. Finished. It is over. And the United States of America is healed you, and well Thank you, again, Praise saith the mighty Hallelujah. Spirit. Glory. 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 Peace, who is also the Prince of War. The Lord Jesus Christ. When oppressive, mean, nasty people attack his people. When mean, oppressive, nasty diseases attack his people, George. The Prince of Peace takes his place. And he becomes the mighty man of Now, there is Kenneth Copeland clearly, clearly demonstrating that he's a false prophet, clearly demonstrating that he's a false teacher, a false prophet, a false teacher, claiming, remember, he's supposedly, that's what God was supposedly speaking, that America is healed from COVID-19. Well, since those words were spoken, the COVID situation in the United States of America has gotten worse and worse and worse and worse. So clearly, he's a false prophet making false claims, supposedly speaking the words of God. He is a false teacher, a false prophet, but hey, he is available on the Edify Christian Podcast app. They make him available. So again, what is the review process? We were never told. It was never explained to us, but he can be on there. 
let, let's let's and let, let's just continue on with with just Kenneth Copeland. I mean, I could I could spend hours giving you examples, but I just want you to hear before we can reach the, before we can uh, I can explain how this saga comes to an end. I want you to have some context here, right? Because a number of you have emailed me going, hey, did you see that this was uh, available on the Edify Christian Podcast app? Trust me, I've seen the things that are available. Because I think some of you have been confused too. Well, why can't, why are you having such a difficult time getting on the app when they have things that are available teaching crazy stuff? I know, uh, trust me, I know the things that are on there. But 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 let me just, let's just use Kenneth Copeland as our example for, for to, to bring this saga to its conclusion, all right? Here's from a documentary about Kenneth Copeland. Here's from a documentary about Kenneth Copeland. There have been many made, but here's just one. We'll listen just a few minutes of this. Here we go. In 1967, Copeland launched the Kenneth Copeland Evangelistic Association, which would later become known as Kenneth Copeland Ministries. KCM experienced growth in the 1970s and began broadcasting a radio program in 1975 and a television broadcast in 1979. In 1989, the Copelands launched their most ambitious enterprise to date, the Daily Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast, which eventually grew to reach over 2 billion viewers. Despite his enormous success, Kenneth Copeland has made many blatantly heretical statements throughout his career. Who is the big, who's the biggest failure in the Bible? God is. What you say? From Genesis to Revelation, the sole hero of Scripture is God alone. The Sovereign Lord is not a failure in any way, shape, or form. And I'll be perfectly honest with you. That statement by Mr. Copeland is probably one of the most blasphemous things I've ever heard in my life. And he's made that horrible assertion on more than one occasion. God's reason for creating Adam was his desire to reproduce himself. He was not a little like God. He was not almost like God. He was not subordinate to God even. And Adam is as much like God as you could get. Like many faith leaders, Copeland teaches this little God's heresy. And it is one of the most dangerous and ancient false teachings known to man and stretches back as far as Eden. Adam was made in the image of God. He did not share in God's divine nature. Mr. Copeland also teaches that believers have Jesus' spiritual DNA, which is another heretical doctrine. Christians are clothed in Christ's righteousness, but we in no way share in the hypostatic union, which is unique to our Lord alone. In addition to these numerous heretical statements, Copeland has also displayed some of the most odd, bizarre, and erratic behavior at times. How are you, sir? We'd just like to ask you about why you don't want to fly commercial. Why have you said that you won't fly commercial? You said that it's like getting into a tube with a bunch of demons. If I flew commercial, I'd have to stop 65% of what I'm doing. Again, getting back to the comment. You said that you don't like to fly commercial because you don't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. Do you really believe that human beings are demons? No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. We wrestle not with flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. Especially Kenneth Copeland Ministries Canada, and it is, and and the, the territories under which the Canadian office uh, is Shigama Tevre ma humbo brother you did is to cinema hunt at K. In Gayo undu et Ganyandos dog sisik pukukla nam and breme nesto, Stelogla hamalana, Lelo lendile, Ingren in Stelest Karatak. The movement of the Spirit of God. Recently, Justin Peters has corrected Copeland's false teaching that God intends to ensure that the faith leader will live to be 120. I consider not my body 83 years old. I consider it not in the name of Jesus, but only that which God had promised. And I have a personal covenant with God to live 120 years on this earth. Mr. Copeland is borrowing this idea from his predecessor, Kenneth Hagin, who likewise claimed that God had ordained that Mr. Hagin would reach a century in a score. As you can see, he didn't quite make it. Now, where did I get that? Genesis 6, 3. The assertion by both Kenneths is based upon a completely false interpretation of Genesis 6, 3. Now, his days 
shall be 120 years. Mr. Copeland, this is not a promise from God that man should live to be 120 years of age. Not at all. In fact, this 120 years has absolutely nothing to do with the lifespan of an individual person or even as mankind as a whole. Do you know what this 120 years is? This 120 years was the span of time that man in general had to repent. And if they did not repent in this 120 years, God was going to destroy man with the flood. To bolster this argument, Justin added that just five chapters later, many of Shem's descendants lived too far past 120 years. So Genesis 6-3 could not at all mean what Copeland asserts that it does. In the same video, Pastor Peters likewise made a plea to Kenneth Copeland to repent of his false teachings and embrace the true gospel of Jesus Christ. I provided a link to the full video below. Add Copeland's faulty interpretations of the Bible to his failed attempts at stopping Hurricane Irma and other events, and they combine to produce what any discerning Christian can identify as an individual who is clearly a false teacher and a false prophet. In summation, Kenneth Copeland is without question one of the absolute worst of the worst of the false prosperity teachers. Mr. Copeland has accumulated over $700 million, primarily off of the backs of poor, sick, and hurting people. He has a fleet of airplanes, his own airstrip, and he lives in a compound in Fort Worth, Texas. Like Justin, I harbor absolutely no hatred towards Mr. Copeland. As with all the false faith teachers, my greatest desire for every single one of them is that they turn away from their deceiving and their deception and embrace the true Jesus as he is freely offered in the gospel. Ladies and gents, if you have... There you have it. His deceiving, his deception. You know, they, they want uh, Kenneth Copeland to turn away from his deceiving. Well, he's not turning away from his deceiving. He's still out there teaching, and he has a platform for his teaching to be sent around the world on the Edify Christian Podcast app. So that demonstrates clearly that pretty much anything can be on the Edify Christian Podcast app. However, (laughs) here is how this saga ends. We here at the Theology Central Podcast, VBC Podcast, VBC Bible Institute Podcast, and the Non-Catholic Catholic Catholic Podcast, we will not be available on the Edify Christian Podcast app. After waiting eight days for an update, uh, I finally sent an email this morning going, hey, you know, it's kind of impossible to interpret silence. I don't really know what's going on. No one's, you know, I I haven't received anything. So can you give me some kind of answer or something? And I finally received a reply today. And here is the reply. All right. Again, at no point did they ever say, here's the criteria. Here's how we do the review here. Here's the statement of faith you have to agree to. Not, not a thing. So I, to this day, I still don't understand exactly where we failed in the process. I don't really get it. They wanted information about our church, which which is just weird because there's podcasts on there that are not associated with churches. So the whole process has just been really, really bizarre, right? Just really weird. And here is the here is the dramatic conclusion. Are you ready? Here is the email I received today at 9:31 a.m. Trevor, thank you for your interest in Edify. I will continue to listen, and if there is a fit, I will reach out. Thank you. (laughs) If there's a fit, you're right. I guess maybe there's not a fit because I'm not on turning on the microphone saying the absolutely insane, heretical, crazy things that Kenneth Copeland is. I guess that's why there's not a fit. I guess if I turn on this microphone and tell everyone that the uh, the COVID vaccine is going to contain nanorobots that's going to enter in your body and they're going to lay dormant until 5G tor- turns them on and then it's going to make you submit to the Antichrist, I guess I can be on the Edify Christian Podcast app. I, get if I, I guess if I was to turn on this microphone and go, COVID, <laughs> and spit at COVID and tell everyone that it's gone and it's burnt up and I've pronounced judgment on it, 
I could be on the Edify Christian podcast app. I guess if I got in here and taught all kinds of ancient heresies like modalism, Sabellianism, and, all, and a number of other you know ancient heresies, I guess I could be on the Edify Christian podcast app. But because I refuse to do the conspiracy theories, because I refuse to throw out ancient Christian heresies, I, I, and when I say ancient Christian heresies, heresies attacking historical biblical Christianity, I, I guess... I guess we're not available. Some may say, well, you you offer criticism of what's going on in Christianity, so therefore you can't be on the Edify Christian Podcast app. Wait a minute. Issues Etc. is on the Edify Christian Podcast app, and every Friday, most Fridays, they do a segment called uh, This Week in Pop Christianity, and they usually bring in Chris Rosebro from Fighting for, uh, Fighting for the Faith podcast, and he comes in there and criticizes what's going on in American Christianity. He criticizes people like Kenneth Copeland. He criticizes many of the charismatic leaders. He criticizes what's going on in evangelical Christianity. So clearly you can criticize. I, I, I don't get it. I don't have a clue why we weren't accepted. I was never given even the opportunity to say, hey, here, here's the criteria if you do this. No, I was never given any opportunity. I was not even given the I mean, you could almost say I wasn't even treated with enough respect be given an explanation. No explanation. Just thank you for your interest. If there, I'll continue to listen. If there's ever a fit, I will reach out to you. I don't know what, I don't even know what that means. Like, even if you didn't want Theology Central, VBC is just our sermons. The VBC Bible Institute, what is controversial about that? The non-Catholic Catholic, I don't even know how that's really controversial, but okay. Uh, I mean, I, I, <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. That's how this, it's taken all of this time, all of this effort that I have put in trying to get our podcast available on the Edify Christian Podcast app, all of that time, all of that effort to basically be told, no, uh, no, you know, uh, well, I don't even know. Do I say that? Do I take that as a no? It's a not right now, but maybe later. I'll continue to listen and see if there's a fit. What, like, what, 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 what do I have to do to? Like, I'm not even being told what to do. Nothing. So we are kept from that platform. Now, I know some of you have emailed me, and uh, and I may have stated this earlier, but this is the second attempt to do this live broadcast because the first one, the software uh, froze up uh, because I'm you know under attack by Satan. Okay, no, all right. Up the software froze up. I, I, right now, I could just say, I just want to go on like a complete rant and just say the most crazy things possible. And then maybe I'll get an email going, hey, now you fit in. Okay, but I'm not going to do that. But if I said this earlier, I apologize. I don't remember what I said in the first pro, uh, broadcast versus this broadcast. But let me just state it this way. I know a number of you have emailed me saying, hey, why, why do you want to be on the Edify Christian Podcast app? Because on the Edify Christian Podcast app, you have people looking for messages dealing with theology, the Bible. They're looking for passages. I mean, I haven't seen the, the, the actual, you know, results from the search engine on the Edify Podcast app. But it would be interesting to see what people are searching for. So they're actually probably searching for things that we talk about, things that we're teaching. So that would give us a possibility to reach that audience. On, on the all the secular uh, podcast apps that we're on, people are looking for all kinds of things. True crime, you you know, whatever, news, who knows what they're looking for. And so, so yes, there are people out there looking for maybe things we're providing, but it's maybe more, much more difficult for us to be found. So we were hoping that the Edify Christian Podcast app would g- grant us access to maybe a larger audience. And so if you're, if you're taking the time to do all the work that I do, um, you, you want to reach a bigger audience. So we thought it would be a, a great fit. That would work. Um, and I get, trust me, I didn't start reaching out to them. I want to make this very clear. I did not reach out to them until I started searching for all the different things available going, okay, here's, here's to one, here's one stream of, of Christian theology. Oh wait, here's another stream. And I started looking at all the things available. And I'm like, if all of that is available, everything from the Catholic feminist, you've got T.D. Jakes, which is modalist, denies the doctrine of the Trinity. You've got Joyce Meyer, Beth Moore. You've got, you know, Kenneth Copeland. You've got, you just got everything. Um, you've got Catholic, you've got Greek Orthodox, you've got every form of Protestant out there. Okay. It's all there. 
All right, then we then obviously we can fit in. That that's the only reason I even attempted to get us on there because I'm like, oh, there's clearly clearly we can fit in within all within that framework. But nothing. No explanation. That's how it all comes to an end. So it's frustrating, yes. It's disappointing, yes. And I don't, I, don't, I want to make this very clear. They have a right. Look, they have a right to do what they want. I understand that. It's just frustrating that we are not even given an explanation. We're not even given anything. We're not, we're just not told anything. And it's just frustrating because I, I've dealt with all kinds of podcasting platforms and I've always been treated with respect. I've always been given very detailed information. They've always said, you know, do this, do, you know, this is what we need. They've always been very helpful. But when I deal with the Edify Christian podcast app, the whole process I, I, I can't describe it as professional. Um, I can't even describe it as informative. I don't even understand what happened. I like nothing. Now, maybe if my name was Kenneth Copeland and I had billions of dollars, maybe we would get a little bit more attention. Maybe if I was a big name, mega celebrity pastor, we would be treated a little different. But I guess if you're, you know, a little podcast in the middle of nowhere or a little church in the middle of nowhere, I guess maybe you don't deserve I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I get how can you interpret complete lack of information? I mean, I, I, I figured as soon as they said, oh, yes, uh, we will, you know, uh, here are, are, I figured the first reply I would ever receive from them, if I ever received a reply, would be, here is the criteria for anything to be hosted on our site. And I figured it'd be a statement of faith. And I would be like, okay, I, I could. I thought it would have to be the most vague statement of faith on earth, considering all the things on there. I mean, you can't have a statement of faith that would throw out Catholics because Catholics are on there. You can't have a statement of faith throwing out Protestants because Protestants out there. And you can't have a statement of faith that's very specific because there's too many different Protestants on there from too many different theological streams. So... What, and, and obviously you can be on there even if you're even if your podcast is not really about Bible teaching, it's about conspiracy theories. You you can even do that. So you don't even really have to provide Bible teaching. So I I, I thought, you know, whatever they send me is going to be pretty vague, but I thought they would be like, here's the criteria, here's how you submit, here's what you do, here's the review process, and and and, and we'll get back with you in a, in a certain amount of time. But we we never got anywhere close to any of that. So that's the conclusion. The only reason I'm talking about this this way is because I received a number of emails from people saying, hey, what's going on? You know, I I downloaded the app and uh, and I haven't heard anything. So I just want to save time. Just turn on the microphone. Tell everyone, here is how the story ends. We're not going to be on the Edify Christian podcast app. You say, why? I don't know why. What? I, I, I can't give you any explanation. I cannot tell you why. I can't explain it to you. I, I guess the best I can do to try to be as accurate as I can, we don't currently fit in. Now, I just want you to think about that, that in modern day Christianity, <laughs> we don't fit in. And what is even bizarre is the Edify Christian Podcast app is associated with the Christian Post, the very same Christian Post who called my phone and interviewed me in regards to family radio and Harold camping when all of that was going down years ago. So I can be interviewed by the Christian post, okay, but I can't be on their podcast platform. I, 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 because we don't fit in, but Kenneth Copeland, he fits right in. Joyce Meyer, he fits right. She fits right in. I apologize. TD Jakes, he fits right in. And all the all the other things, you know, um, conspiratorial thinking, all all of that fits in, but we don't. And it's just like if I was to tell this story to someone, they really wouldn't believe it. But we've documented the story in podcast form, so there it is. There is the dramatic. I guess it's kind of anticlimactic, right? I guess it's anticlimactic. I really thought that they would say, here are the th- criteria and here are the three ways you don't meet the criteria. Um, and then I could say, hey, guys, here's the criteria. And no, we can't compromise there. We uh, Obviously, we don't fit in there. And I'm grateful that they considered us. I can't even say that because I don't even know what the criteria was. I don't even know how we don't fit in. I, I mean, I've looked at it from every, I've looked at it from every angle, right? 
Well, I criticize sometimes what's going on in modern Christianity. Issues Etc. does that. Fighting for the Faith does that, right? So that doesn't really fit. Um, um, I, I mean, Ra, uh, Ravi Zacharias' ministry is on there, and they're under investigation right now for a lot of crazy stuff. I mean, look at the, some of the reports about some of the, you know, sexual assault and things that are possibly being accused. That's on there where other other ministry platforms have removed his ministry, uh, Bible Broadcasting Network. So, okay, that doesn't fit. All right. So it can't be theological because Kenneth Copeland and OK, so then what I've looked at it from every angle. And we can't fit in. You can say, well, you don't have a professional intro. Well, we do have a professional intro if you listen to us on Spreaker, but there are podcasts on there who don't have professional intros. So that that doesn't fit. So I it, um, there are people on there whose sound quality of some of their podcasts are so bad. It can't be a sound quality issue. Most people say our sound quality is very is, is very well done. So it can't be that. So I, you could say, well, you're not a very good communicator. I, I, I on I don't know what day it was. I played a clip from one of the podcasts on Edify uh, podcast app where the guy speaking almost I couldn't you can't even understand what he's saying. It, it's it's. I, I don't even know what you call it. He's not speaking in tongues, but he just as well be. I mean, I don't even know what's going on there. That, I mean, so that can't be it. So, I mean, just, it can't be theological. It can't be because I'm critical. It, it, it can't be because, you know, uh, you know, uh, you can, you can be under an investigation for all kinds of things. You can still be on Like I, like I've looked at every criteria and I'm, I'm just baffled. I'm just baffled. And that's how we have to end the story with not really knowing why. But hey, supposedly they're going to continue to listen. And at some point, maybe we'll fit in. I don't know exactly what we have to do to fit in because we were not offered even any criteria to understand that. So I just want to make it sure the next time Christians complain and whine that they weren't allowed on a certain platform or removed from a platform, just realize Christian podcast apps do the exact same thing. When you're upset that you got removed, that you're, you got removed from YouTube, uh, don't complain because Christians do the exact same thing. All right. Don't complain if you, if you're, if you get deleted from Facebook, Christian podcast app, we can't even get on there as a Christian podcaster. So the same thing happens in the Christian world. Uh, so that's fine. Their app, they do what they want. We're going to move on. We've, we've, we've experienced, we've, you know, we've had success and we'll just move on and, and just, that's 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 the way it ends. I, I don't even know what I don't even know what else to say. I don't even know what else to say. Hopefully, I've said everything I need to say because I don't want to talk about this anymore. Um, I've already wasted too much time today because it's the second broadcast talking about this because the first broadcast crashed. So I just thinking. I know I said did I say that in the first broadcast or did I say that in the second broadcast? So I, I if I if I if I forgot something, I apologize. I'll just end like this. I will tell you that, hey, if you listen to a lot of Christian podcasts and you just like to know kind of what's going on in the Christian world, right, kind of what's happening in the atmosphere of modern day Christianity, download the Edify Christian Podcast app and just search around and look and listen, and you can kind of feel what's going on. Some of it's disturbing, but you'll know what's going on. Um, I think the app is a great, wonderful idea. I love the idea of 2 million Christian podcasts on one app, even though I may listen to things on there I completely disagree with. Um, I, I think, look, I do not believe, and I want to make this very clear, that the Edify Christian Podcast app has to be a platform where they're like super restrictive and they only allow certain people in because that's a never ending, that's a never ending, that's a never ending search of trying to figure out what what is re- meeting the rules, what's not meeting the rules, and what do we what do we get rid of, what we do we don't get rid of, and that's very difficult to maintain. All right, again, I've talked about sermon audio in the past, where you have to sign a certain agreement to be on sermon audio. And if you go listen to Sermon Audio, there's people on there. I don't know why they signed that agreement. There's no way they can believe that the things that they signed. They're preaching things that seem to be contradictory to it. So then, you know, but does, does Sermon Audio have a group of people sitting there, you know, monitoring everything? No. What they wait for is for someone to report and say, hey, that doesn't work. And then they go research it. But, um, you know, if, if you're just going to be a Christian podcast app and you're going to allow anything that basically calls itself Christian to be on there, I think that's a wonderful idea. And then allow all of the competing theologies. 
and all of the comp- competing ideas, let them all compete in the free market, you know, the free market of ideas. Let the ideas compete amongst themselves. Let the teaching and the preaching compete with their, 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 their respective truth claims. If that's the way you want to work it, great. So I'm not saying that they need to have, you know, remove Kenneth Copeland. I'm not saying that. that if they were going to have it that open, have it that open. I just don't understand why then we can't be on there. All right. So I'm not calling for them to throw people off. I haven't, you know, they have a button on there where you can hit a report and report a channel. I'm not going to report anyone because I hate censorship. I like freedom. I like people to have the freedom. I want Kenneth Copeland to have the freedom to speak whatever nonsense he wants to speak. And I want the uh, freedom to be able to offer a critique. Freedom is a beautiful thing. So I'm not, I'm not saying that they should make stricter rules. I'm just thinking that if you don't really have any rules, then why did we not pass? <laughs> that, that, I guess that's where my confusion is. Like, like I, there's what criteria are you using? Because by all criteria I can think of, there's no criteria because you've got stuff on there from everything. So how did we not fit in? That's the thing I don't get. And I'm not obviously worthy of an explanation. So no explanation given, no answer. And the story comes to an end with kind of a whimper, right? Not kind of, that's it. It kind of just kind of a pathetic ending. <laughs> it really is. Hey, this the great, the great Edify Christian podcast saga of 2020 comes to, uh, yeah, it doesn't go out with a boom. It goes out with kind of, eh, yeah, kind of a shrug of the shoulders. Yeah. You don't fit in. All right. Next. You know, we, we, as well, uh, you know, we wish you well in all of your future endeavors, right? You know, one of those little template uh, responses, you know, thank you for your interest, uh, but you know, not now, but we'll keep listening. Trust me, wink, wink, we'll keep listening. And if you ever fit in, if there's ever a day, we'll reach out to you. In other words, you don't reach out to us. We'll reach out to you if the day, so you just go away and uh, leave us alone because we've got better things to do. Um, and that's great. So we'll see. I've been through this before. Remember, I got kicked off Christian radio uh, because they didn't give me any rules, but they took my money. Oh, they were more than happy to put my program on Christian radio. And then when I criticized certain things, theologically, they got upset and then threw us off the air without any warning and never explained what rule I violated because there was never any rule. Right. In fact, I remember when I met with the people at the radio station, they were like, hey, if you want to be on the air, you pay us this much. We'll put you on the air. Um, but uh, and I said, so is, is there any rules of what we can do? Because I may do things a little differently. Nope. Nope. You can do whatever you want to do. OK. And the next thing you know, phone rings. You're finished. They're screaming. You're off the air. Well, oh, because I'm criticizing things that could possibly hurt you getting donations. Ah, I see how it works. It's about money. Why don't you just admit it? So, but they couldn't even be respectful enough to just say, "Hey, I think we have a different. Uh, I think we have a different philosophy here. So we're going to have to remove your program unless you do things this way, and then create the rules." But see, they they didn't worry about the rules. They just wanted the check. They got the check. They were more than. So I've had to deal with this on Christian radio. I just it's just Christianity. Sometimes you think Christians in the Christian world there you would be treated fairly. With respect, everything would be above board. Everything would be handled in a godly manner. And man, I, I've I've dealt with some 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 companies that are you know I, I I when it comes to the podcasting world, I've dealt with people who are far more were far more just friendly and helpful and good customer service uh, than I have in this situation, and it's just discouraging and disappointing. But we move on to the next next part of our journey. We don't know where we're going to end up. We don't know what we will accomplish, but that's where we're going. So thank you for all of your support. Thank you for continuing to listen. Um, And you can still listen to us. (laughs) And I'm going to say this because it, it is to me funny. You can listen to us on every podcasting app on earth, except for the Edify Christian podcasting app. Every other podcasting app we are easily accessible, readily available for all of your theological discussions to make your heart content. We are there for you. Uh, but uh, you just can't listen to us on a Christian podcast app because I guess we're not 
Christian enough? Are we too Christian? Are we heretics? We're, I, I don't know, but you can listen to Kenneth Copeland. All right. Email me your thoughts, newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com. That's newsif at yahoo.com. Everyone have a great day. God bless.